hello everyone how are you going welcome back to another video today we are gonna see the difference between cpu and gpu ready let's get started cpu and gpu are two fundamental computing engines without them computing devices don't work cpus and gpus each have unique strengths that allow them to play an important role in meeting the computing demands the main difference between cpu and gpu is that CPU handles all main functions of a computer whereas GPU is a specialized component that is best at running many smaller tasks at once. CPU and GPU both handle data but they have different architectures and are built for different purposes. Let's look at the CPU first. CPU is often described as the brain of a computer and is considered the main processor. The basic function of a CPU is to interpret, process and execute instructions and commands that it receives from operating system and other computer components. Basically, CPU is a silicon chip that is attached to a socket on the motherboard and is responsible for everything you can do on a computer. We can say it controls the overall functioning of a computer. CPU is also important in determining how fast programs can run, from surfing the web to building spreadsheets. As I mentioned above, CPU is an integral part of any computer system. It allows the computer to interact with all its applications and programs. It takes instructions in a machine language, processes them and creates the output in a human readable format. Older CPUs were single core processor that could only perform a single task at a time. But modern CPUs are multi-core, they can handle multitasking easily. This increases the overall system's performance and speed. Now let's move on to the GPU and see how it is different from the CPU. GPU stands for Graphic Processing Unit, also known as Graphic Card or Video Card. With the increasing ability of computers to run 3D graphics and other intensive workloads such as playing video games, CPUs are not enough to handle such kind of workloads. There came a need for a dedicated microprocessor to handle some of the burden. GPU was introduced. It's a specialized component that handles graphic and video rendering. It is designed in such a way that it enhances graphics performance in computers. This is what makes us enable to see graphics on the display screens of our devices such as desktops, laptops and other devices. GPU is particularly well suited for multitasking and heavy workloads. For example, if you are playing a heavy video game on Core i7 processor, Without GPU, it won't run smoothly. However, if you play the same game on Core i3 with GPU support, you would see a significant performance improvement. So basically, GPU breaks complex problems into thousands or millions of separate tasks and works them out at once. This is what makes it ideal for graphics, where texture, lighting and the rendering of shapes have to be done at once to keep images flying across the screen. Ok, as you know CPU works based on serial processing technique, while on the other hand GPU works based on parallel processing technique, in which GPU breaks up tasks and runs them parallel. Using the power of this technique, GPU can complete more work in the same amount of time as compared to a CPU. As I mentioned earlier, GPU was intended to process graphics, but its parallel processing architecture made it clear fit for other types of complex workloads such as supercomputing, artificial intelligence, machine learning, scientific calculation, deep learning, crypto mining, 3D gaming, and big data analysis. Ok, now let's talk about the cores. GPU can have thousands of cores, while CPUs can have up to 64 cores. With the additional cores, GPU delivers massive performance when a processing task is divided up and processed across many cores, while on the other hand, CPU is more restricted due to the fact that it is more generalist component. It is also important to note that GPUs are either independent from the motherboard and have their own memory such as VRAM, or integrated into the motherboard and share the memory with CPU. Typically, integrated GPUs have lesser performance than independent CPUs. Ok, so in conclusion, keep in mind the main difference between CPU and GPU architecture is that CPU is designed to handle a wide range of tasks quickly, but is limited in concurrency of tasks that are running 
while GPU is designed to efficiently render high resolution images and video concurrently. Alright, so this brings me to the end of my video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.